In this video, we're gonna look at the bootstrap grid system, how it works, how we can make it responsive, and I will explain it in a really easy way so everybody can pick it up. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's go straight to bootstrap side and we want to open a documentation. So let's click on documentation and we will scroll down to section two, just right here, and we will copy everything in a clipboard. Then we want to open a Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, we will create a new file. So open folder, create a new file. In the new file, we will create an index.html and we'll paste the code that we copy from Bootstrap to our Visual Studio Code. Now we need to see this code in our browser. How are we gonna do it? We need to install a live server. We'll go straight to extensions in Visual Studio Code and I already have one installed. If you don't have one, just type live server and just install it. Once it's installed, then come back to index.html. We've got two ways how we can see our code in our browser. One way is to click here on the right bottom corner, go live, or we just click on index.html, right click and open with live server. Once this is done, we should see hello world. Before we're gonna start writing some code, let's just jump back to our bootstrap documentation. So we need to go to layout and we need to go to grid. We can see some container, row and column. What is it? Bootstrap has a 12 columns. This is actually how much space we will define for every row. Imagine you want to add an image on the left side of your screen and on the right side you want to add some text. But you want your image to be just only half screen, you don't want the full width. Then we know that the full width has a 12 columns. So we'll just use the 6 columns for our image and the rest we can keep for the text. We also need to mention rows and containers. The containers is just only wrap around the rows and columns, which is kind of necessary for bootstrap. And rows are really necessary to hold our columns in a horizontal layout. Hope that's clear and let's just jump to the code. So we are back to Visual Studio Code and we will get rid of the H1 and the script. What I will do is this is gonna be column one till column 12. And we will start with the container. And in this example, I will be using container fluid and because container fluid utilize the full width of the screen. And then I will use row. As we mentioned, the row holds our columns. And then I will use the column and I will give it a value of one only. Then I want to add some styles to my column, uh, which is gonna be a background color of, um, let's say red. And then we will add a number to it. So number one, like that. And you see this, we have got number one column and it's red. Now I will repeat it basically 11 times. So we've got 12 columns and once I save it, I can see I've got 12 columns. So um, that's how Bootstrap works. If we add another column, which is gonna be 13, it will wrap below. So let's get rid of the column number 13. And I want to demonstrate the example that I mentioned before about the image and the text. I want the image on the left side and the text on the right side. How we can do it? It's pretty simple. So we'll start below and we'll start with the container fluid again. Great. Then we will add a row. And then we'll add a column and we will add number six. And image, I'm just gonna add some dummy image to it. So I've got some just here, oh, great. So source and the path. And now we have image on the left side. That's great. And let's add the text on the right side. So column six, and then we will add some dummy text. Here we are. So we have got column six, and then column six for the text. Let's just zoom in. 
instance we want to add some columns to the image we can just simply replace the six add with eight and then we have to reduce the text to four otherwise i will just show you what would happen let's say we will keep the six in there we will just wrap below because there is not enough space and as i mentioned the bootstrap has just only 12 columns so let's bring it back let's bring it back to six and six half and half and and if i just zoom in i'm just basically changing the width of the screen for smaller so if i'm just zoom in i can see that the image is overlapping the text and there is literally no space for the text to be there and this is a big issue how we can fix it we can implement the bootstrap variables let me demonstrate you so bootstrap has a few variables uh, which is xs sm md lg xl and xxl each variable have a different width for instance md has 768 pixel and let me just demonstrate you how we can use it i will just copy the image and the text and i will just paste it below so we have got fresh copy which is going to be just below the original one then for instance for the mobile or for the tablet size we want to utilize for the image full width so we will do xs 12 so we will take the full width of the screen and the same we will do for the text for the text we will do xs and if we are on the laptop we just want the image on the left and the text on the right and that's why we will use column md6 so md6 and that's it that's pretty simple now we can see that the image is taking the full width and the text is taking the full width for the small size and then up oh, sorry and then once we're gonna go to bigger sizes we see that we have got six columns and six columns which is absolutely great and there is one more trick to it we don't even need to use the xs if we know that column md is six we can just rid of the xs and it's gonna be basically the same why is that column is a default one so our width will start with column 12 and then we can replace the default one with a column md6 so we will just override the default column and that's why we don't even need to use access now i changed my mind i want to add some image and text to this column but how can i do that it's very simple we just need to define a new row so let's start with a new row and now we know every row has a 12 columns so we can utilize the 12 columns so we will do column 6 which is going to be arrow image and which is going to be column 6 which is going to be out of text so let's just grab some text and now we see that we have got some image and we've got some text but it's just a little bit broken basically there's not enough space for both of them well then i can just use 12 columns for each of them and they're gonna be below each other great but i really want to have them next to each other so what i will do i will just revert it back to six and i'll revert it back to six and i can just use the styles to make the image smaller so I will do styles, width, and I will add some 100 pixels to it. Great. But now I know that there is not enough space for the text, so I will just change the column 6 to column 8, and I will reduce the column 6 to the image to column 4, and that looks much better. So now we know that we can add a row to already existing column, and we can do it actually to this one as well. We know that we already implemented another row that we added image and we added text and we can do another one if we want so we can implement another row and we can add another column which is going to have size of 12 but we don't even need to add anything because the default will take the the 12 columns anyway and then we will add the image and that's pretty much it now it will take the the full 12 column of this existing row 
that's everything for me and I hope you guys understood it and I will see you next time. Peace.